hey guys welcome to the next video and in this video i will talk about the random forest regression so first of all how it is different from the other technique like uh, linear regression that we have used so as the linear regression method indicates the value should be linearly related but in the real world you have a situation when the values are not at all linearly related and they are there are complex situations but based on the variables importance and other features uh, or the nature of the business uh, which does not represent the linear relation you still want to predict it in that case when the linear assumption is not met you have the random forest regression and what it does is basically creates uh, hundreds or thousands of different uh, uh, samples into the data and create these trees uh, based on these small subsets and uh, join these trees together based on the uh, the quality of trees that uh, it has created and finally gives us the output so it has been seen that uh, random forest has given a very good output in whenever the values or the variables are not uh, meeting the linear regression assumption so let's see how we can uh, do the random forest regression here in the tab view. So what I'll do is come out from here and uh, go to my sheet where I have done the linear regression example. So if you remember, I have done the linear regression over here and uh, I use the predicted profit. And if I go down and click on add it, you will see that we have used the linear regression model. But now what I'll do is I will go into the sheet 3 where I have a similar data points and uh, create another variable which is uh, profit uh, variable based on the profit I'm trying to predict it using random forest. So to predict it uh, usually like as usual we need to go into analysis go on create a calculated field and click on the profit underscore RF and since it will return us the real values let's use that and uh, the library we will going to use is the random forest okay and uh, then we will going to apply the random forest regression so let's call it a price uh, let's store the result in the price what i meant by that and call the method random forest and then specify the formula so based on the value, the the dependent val variable value, either it can be a classification algorithm or a regression. So it really depends on which what type of dependent variable you are using. So in this case, we are using profit. I don't know why I wrote the price. Let me profit underscore RF maybe. So random forest uh, is basically, as I mentioned, uh, gives you output either a probabilities, which is a classification situation. We will see it in the next week, next couple of videos. But now, since we are passing the dependent variable as profit, which can take the value from minus infinity to plus infinity, it will give us the real numbers or uh, the numbers, which is uh, which is usual in terms of profit. So. That's the idea I wanted to give. It can work on both classification or uh, for a casting. All right. So what I have is the different argument. The different argument we have is, uh, let's say we have sales. Let's say we have uh, product base margin, maybe order quantity. Let's start with these three variables. So what I'll do is uh, I will simply say profit by uh, sales plus um, shipping cost plus product based margin and then I will get this data over here and uh, so before I specify the data frame what I meant here is either you can specify like this or if you want to include all the variables just a small shortcut we have is the dot notation which indicates that uh, we want to use all the variables so let's get all the variables over here now the variables that we have is the profit first of all is equals to dot arg1 and then sales 
equals to dot r2 and then shipping cost is equals to dot r3 and then now uh, we have finally uh, order quantity which is dot r4 all right and then we can specify it has different arguments i think more than even 10 arguments but uh, one of the very simple argument is uh, number of trees so n tree by default it takes 500 trees but you can go ahead and specify 1000 trees so you need to be uh, you need to play a little bit around uh, this value but 1000 is what i see 500 or 1000 is a good place to start but if you are trying to increase its value it will going to take a lot of processing time and uh, may even result in some times of uh, other issues like overfitting if you are aware of so we need to be careful with the number that we are providing so 5000 500 or 1000 is a good number to start with but you can reduce or increase based on how you are getting the result okay so once we are here let's get the values so it has one of the parameter which is predicted and we will take the output in that and now i put sum of profit comma sum of uh, sales comma sum of shipping cost comma sum of uh, finally we have ordered quantity so it's pretty much good all right i'll remove this space and click apply should be fine and click ok all right now what i'll do is i have profit underscore rf here i will put it over here to get it on the same axis doing the calculation and as you can see we are getting the predicted values um what i'll do is i'll right click here and make it on the same axis by clicking on dual axis so it will have access over here now couple of seconds and uh, right click synchronize access in case there is a bit of synchronization now we can see that in some case this is not a good representation like this uh, if i am just going into the sheet one so what i'll do is uh, i'll take prediction into the dot notation so in sheet three i have profit rf and i'll just change it to a shape and here we have the shapes which is indicating that in some cases it is doing good and in some cases it is doing bad so now it's more of a matter of uh, increasing or decreasing a variable increasing or decreasing number of trees play around with it and get the values which is very near to your actual output so that's about how uh, you can use the random forest regression into the tableau using the r so just one other very quick overview uh, and suggestion which i gave that random forest can give you either uh, output like we got in terms of a real values or in a probabilities and dep it really depends on what kind of uh, dependent variable that you are giving